The global aviation industry is witnessing exciting changes, and the rise of COMAC is one of the most notable highlights. With a major plan just revealed regarding the C919 this year, the China manufacturer is gradually realizing its dream of conquering the skies, bringing new and more competitive options to the global aviation market. So what is the new plan that COMAC's CEO just revealed? How will China challenge long-standing aircraft manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus? Let's find out. China's COMAC C919 is rapidly becoming a key player in the aviation industry, attracting increasing attention from both domestic and international markets. As of December 20th, 24, the C919 had transported over 1 million passengers and entered a phase of large-scale development and multi-user operations. The country hopes that domestically produced aircraft will boost China's aviation industry and drive innovation. Additionally, on the first day of 2025, the C919 reached a major milestone with its first flight outside mainland China. The flight, operated by China Eastern, flew from Shanghai to Hong Kong. In addition, COMAC aims to secure EU certification and expects the aircraft to be deployed to destinations in Southeast Asia by 2026. However, despite China's continuous efforts to obtain international certification, the aircraft is still striving for broader global acceptance. For COMAC, scaling up production and achieving certification from international aviation regulators are critical to the company's growth strategy. We know that aircraft manufacturers are experiencing significant order backlogs for a variety of reasons. This isn't unique to Boeing or Airbus. COMAC is also facing similar challenges. As of 2024, Airbus reportedly has approximately 8,585 aircraft on order that have yet to be produced, while Boeing's backlog is roughly half that size, with 4,200 orders. Despite C919's entry into service in 2023 and a substantial number of orders exceeding 1,000 aircraft from domestic operators, the manufacturer is struggling with production capacity to meet this demand. Production capacity is a critical issue for COMAC, forcing it to scale back production plans and struggle to meet demand. Last year, this manufacturer revealed its production targets. 30 aircraft in 2024, 54 in 2025, and 126 by 2028. Therefore, major domestic airlines, including China Southern and China Eastern, are expected to operate 100 COMAC aircraft by 2031. Despite these ambitious goals, the aircraft manufacturer has only delivered 16 aircraft in the past 24 months. These aircraft primarily serve domestic routes and have recently expanded to include flights to Hong Kong. In 2023, a COMAC official announced that the manufacturer aims to produce up to 150 C919 within the next five years. In addition to the C919, this manufacturer is also working on a larger wide-body aircraft, the C929, which is currently in the preliminary design phase. This wide-body aircraft is set to offer more seats than the C919, catering to the wide-body aircraft market. It is expected to move into the detailed design phase soon. So how will COMAC address its order backlog? Can they immediately increase production capacity? But first, thanks for sticking around until now. Please help us hit 40,000 subscribers by smashing that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's a small click for you, but a giant leap for us to keep bringing you great content. Thanks a ton. First, COMAC has the potential to increase its production capacity, but this cannot happen overnight. To achieve this goal, the company needs to heavily invest in infrastructure, production technology, and especially human resources. Building new factories, upgrading production lines, and training a team of skilled engineers and workers all require significant time and resources. The issue with order backlogs is a common issue in the industry. While it can be an opportunity for COMAC to attract new customers, it also creates significant pressure to ensure timely delivery. To address this backlog, Shanghai needs to accelerate production while maintaining product quality. Balancing growth and quality is a difficult task. It needs to expand production to compete with its rivals. But if it focuses too much on quantity and neglects quality, it could encounter serious problems, similar to Boeing's experience with the 737 MAX. Therefore, building a reputation through high-quality products is a crucial factor that this manufacturer cannot afford to overlook. Secondly, COMAC currently relies on Western suppliers for many critical components of the C919 aircraft. 
This poses several risks, especially in the context of political and trade tensions between China and Western countries. If the supply of components is disrupted, this aircraft maker may face difficulties in production and delivery. To reduce this dependence, China is accelerating the development of its domestic aviation component manufacturing industry. However, localizing the supply chain requires significant time and investment. In addition, it may also seek suppliers from countries other than the West, but this may affect the quality and consistency of the product. Although dependence on Western components brings many risks, it is also an opportunity for Comac to cooperate and learn from the world's leading companies. If it can maintain good relations with international suppliers, the company will have an advantage in accessing advanced technology and improving production capacity. However, Comac is facing a golden opportunity to strengthen its position in the global aviation market, especially in the context of production difficulties that Boeing is facing, as well as the prolonged delivery delays across the industry. To realize its ambition of reaching out to the wider world, this Chinese manufacturer is said to be actively negotiating with many potential airlines in Indonesia, Kazakhstan, and Cambodia. Among the potential partners, the Indonesian national airline, Garuda Indonesia, stands out as a potential customer. Garuda Indonesia is currently looking for up to 70 new aircraft to renew and expand its fleet. Besides Comac, Garuda Indonesia is also considering options from the other two giants, Boeing and Airbus. However, with certain advantages, the Chinese aircraft maker can completely create a surprise. While Comac is experiencing strong growth, its direct competitor, Boeing, continues to face significant challenges. Boeing's 737 MAX aircraft continues to experience production delays due to ongoing quality issues that have been flagged by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. These delays have forced some airlines to look for alternative aircraft options, and this is an excellent opportunity for the Chinese aircraft producer. As Boeing faces intense regulatory scrutiny and production difficulties, the C919's ability to fill the gap in the market, particularly the Chinese market, is becoming increasingly clear. This gives it a huge advantage in competition with its rivals. As mentioned, Comac's deputy general manager recently stated in a newspaper interview that the Shanghai-based manufacturer aims to produce 30 C919 aircraft in 2024. This is an ambitious goal, but it also demonstrates this company's strong determination to establish its position in the market. Comac is positioning itself to compete globally with the two aviation giants, Airbus and Boeing, companies that have dominated the single-aisle jet market for years. Airbus and Boeing currently produce hundreds of A320neo and 737 MAX aircraft annually, and the manufacturer understands that they need to make a significant effort to compete fairly with these two giants. However, with certain advantages, along with strong support from the Chinese government, how can Comac overcome difficulties like that? Let's wait to see. In the context of the rapidly growing aviation industry, not only Comac, but also many other aircraft manufacturers are witnessing significant growth. Major manufacturers such as Embraer, Airbus, and many others are striving to increase production to meet market demand. Embraer, a Brazilian aircraft manufacturer, recorded an impressive growth in 2024 with a 27% increase in production compared to the previous year. The company has delivered more aircraft and attracted a series of orders at recent air shows. Embraer's regional jet aircraft continue to receive attention from many airlines thanks to their flexible operation and optimal fuel efficiency. This helps Embraer solidify its position in the mid-range and short-range aircraft market. In addition, Airbus is still maintaining its advantage in the narrow-body aircraft segment with the A320 family and especially the A321 XLR. The XLR version is increasingly popular with airlines that need to operate long-haul routes but do not have enough traffic to use wide-body aircraft. With a longer range than previous versions, it fills the gap in the long-haul, narrow-body aircraft segment, becoming an ideal solution for airlines seeking to optimize operating costs. To meet market demand, Airbus is increasing production, maintaining its position as one of the world's leading aircraft manufacturers. Besides Embraer and Airbus, Many other manufacturers are also joining the growth race. Bombardier continues to focus on the high-end business jet segment, while ATR maintains its position as the leading manufacturer of turboprop aircraft for short-haul routes. Mitsubishi, after restructuring its SpaceJet regional aircraft project, is also looking for opportunities to return to the market. 
The Comac C919 has an open future with some competitive advantages. First, the production cost of the C919 is lower compared to similar Western aircraft, allowing the company to offer a more economical option for airlines. In addition, with strong support from the Chinese government, it is in a position to quickly expand production capacity and improve product quality. The rise of Comac is creating a new competition in the aviation industry, which has long been dominated by Airbus and Boeing. If it continues to improve technology, enhance reliability, and expand its customer support network, it could become a formidable competitor in the coming years. The aviation industry is entering a period of strong growth with the participation of many manufacturers and the emergence of new trends. Advanced technologies such as electric aircraft, drones, and sustainable mobility solutions are gradually changing the way the industry operates. At the same time, increasing competition forces manufacturers to constantly innovate to maintain their position in the market. In that context, the future of the aviation industry will be shaped by technological innovation, adaptability, and the production expansion rate of aircraft manufacturers. With the rise of Comac and the strong growth of other firms, the global aviation industry is facing major changes, promising a period of exciting development in the coming years. What do you think about the C919? Do you think this aircraft will soon dominate the market? Leave a comment below, thank you, and wish you always have safe flights.